Hi everyone, my name is Alex Gutau and I'm on the product marketing team at Cloudera, focused on our analytic database product. Hi, I'm Romain, I'm the Hue lead. And today we're going to talk to you around how uh, Cloudera can help you make self-service BI a reality. And we'll, we're going to go through some recent inter innovations we've made in our intelligent SQL editor, Hue. Um, and walk you through a live demo uh, to showcase some of these advancements to help make your SQL developers more productive, help enable greater data discovery, and uh, make sure that they can understand uh, uh, query recommendations and, and act more efficiently within the cluster. Um, so what we'll show you today is how with Cloudera, it really enables this flexibility to consolidate multiple different silos of data to help get a complete view of, uh, of your business, of your data, uh, being able to converge this from all different sources across the business. We're going to talk you through some intelligent data discovery, how you can better enable uh, your SQL developers to find new data sets, understand what data to trust, um, be able to perpetuate stewardship policies and tagging within the, uh, the SQL interface. Um, we'll walk you through and showcase some uh, query assistance and recommendations that we've built into the Hue platform um, to, to better help with the query design, being able to recommend common join patterns, understand what other folks are doing, and understand when you might be writing a rogue query and be able to, to prevent against those. And then finally, we'll look at being able to uh, share your queries uh, with the rest of your team and be able to go even beyond SQL and open up this same data and results set to data science team, maybe operationalize them uh, for further uses. So what we'll walk through today for this scenario is uh, we are a, a digital services company that has just launched a new streaming service. And our executive wants to understand uh, what the support cost has been. Has support increased uh, since the launch of this pro uh, 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 product, uh, especially with our high value customers? And then we also want to share this data with the marketing department and understand how these customers have uh, interacted with different marketing campaigns and be able to target the ones that maybe haven't had a great support support experience. So our goal is really to get this complete 360 degree view of our customer, merging together information from Salesforce, uh, from uh, customer usage, as well as marketing. So like we mentioned, we'll consolidate a number of different uh, data sources from across the business. And we'll walk you through all of these. And so you'll see we're bringing in uh, data from uh, opportunities, revenue, uh, case history, uh, product usage, and then we're going to look at some marketing uh, campaign data. One thing to, to call out is we are bringing these together into a shared storage layer, and this can exist on premises using uh, uh, storage systems such as HDFS or Kudu, and also natively within object stores such as with S3 and ADLS. So just at a high level, before we dive into the demo, what we're going to cover is we're going to go through and uh, walk through how you discover the, the data to begin with this analysis. We're going to start querying against Salesforce to understand what the support activity. Join that in with usage logs. We will be using Kudu here, which allows for uh, streaming logs and updates. Um, and then we're going to join it against the marketing uh, database and marketing activity uh, to better understand campaign activities. And then at the end of the day, we're going to share it, uh, save and share it with the rest of our team. Hi. All right. Thanks, yeah. Alex. I'm going to switch to the demo. Um, so what's really interesting is all this uh, demo scenario is what we do internally at Cloudera to understand better our customers or users where are our support costs, where are the non-happy customers. Uh, we, make it a we made it a bit more generic with the scenario of uh, what, what's the impact of the recent features in our product. Uh, so usually, a data analyst will jump uh, into his uh, own editor or command line and will first try to look for its data. Where is the data? Uh, so we, we can have a lot of, of databases that can contain hundreds of tables, so that's a lot of data can also browse the Hadoop file system, S3 data on the object stores, uh, or the uh, Azure data lake, on all the other data sets directly from this UI. Uh, another way of accessing the data is to just search for it. Uh, if we do uh, a search, for example, uh, we'll get all the tables matching usage. Why usage? Because uh, it's a, a tag the data was tagged by the end user or a data steward. Uh, that way, uh, it's easier to group data together and look them up by, with a real name. Uh, 
The search also supports, like a Google search, like free test search on tables, database names. So even if you have like uh, 5,000 databases with ton of tables, you be, you'll be able to get them quickly. You can get previews, but one of the most interesting features is just, you can also just take it and drag and drop it, and then you can start selecting it. Uh, I'm just going to switch to a query file that contains more interesting queries and just actually pick up my table again and list it uh, and show it that you can list it in the assist. Sorry, it's stagging a bit. So I will just go for it. So, so I know the table is here. So opportunity. So I just drag and drop it. And now we go with our data. We want to do the queries to drill down to the data and answer the questions. Uh, so what's uh, the impact of the launch? One of the interesting features, which is uh, happening right now, so I don't even run the query, that I'm getting some suggestions, some uh, alerts uh, with recommendation. So here, if I will execute this query, so a huge query, that might like, take a lot of time or even arm the cluster. So here we get a recommendation to add some filtering, and with a click, the smart uh, edit editor will directly pull up where you should tweak this query. Even more interestingly, it's going to bubble up uh, where, uh, uh, what type of filters, what type of popular values you should use for this query. So those are the ones with the little stars. If nobody did the queries before, it will be the, what are the most popular columns, for example. So even without knowing the query, I can already uh, the data set much, I can already uh, query it. Actually, I'm going to use this one. And, and then next step, usually data sets have a lot of columns. Uh, here we have only 40, most of the time it's more in the hundreds, which is a lot. So we don't know which query, which field we should use. Uh, same as before, those can be bubbled up directly uh, via the, in the UI based on previous usage. So same again, the available columns are listed, and the most popular ones are uh, bubbled up. And this works with joins. So if you want to join multiple data sets, uh, which is the point of this demo, we get the list of tables that was joined before. And um, OK. And then. So I'm going to switch. So we have various data sets. And I'm going to switch to uh, pre-built queries that show that no, to answer the questions, what are is our support usage? Uh, after the features, are our customers happy? So how long does it take to fix their problems? So we can get this global overview in one query, month by month, and we can see that the usage uh, people are still happy. The, the time even going down. And we can keep going, doing even customer by customer, getting trends uh, up with the, uh, their, uh, here, their usage based on their, the, their log usage. So we can get even finer grain uh, analysis. And for the last query, we're even joining. Now we want to take action. So we're joining our Eloka, our marketing data sets. Uh, on we want to get the emails, uh, the location of our customers. Uh, but to be a bit smarter, after this launch, we just target the one where it took an average of more than 15 days to fix their issues. So we probably don't send the same message to non-happy customers to happy customers. And we could also reverse it, target more the happy, or use the, use the log data that I was showing before uh, to take action on this. And when you are done, you are free to download the result, put it back in another object store, uh, like I was showing up right here, uh, to persist it. I even like, click uh, to share the query with your team. That way they can learn and uh, do by themselves in a true self-service way uh, their data analysis for their own product. And that's it. Thank you, everybody. This demo is available also online.
And uh, yeah, if you have any question, we'll be around. Thank you. Thank you.